In this video, we're going to set up the cover file for your print book to upload to Lulu. So click on New for New Document. And then when the dialog box comes up, we want it for print, so you can leave that there. But creating this book means for A5, you leave it as A4, but then switch it to Landscape because two A5s make up an A4. And then if you turn it on its side, you've got an A5 front cover and an A5 back cover. The only thing you haven't accounted for is a spine. So to do that, you do two columns. That's so gonna be the front and back cover. And then put in two millimeters. This is for a 32 page book. The gutter is the space between the two columns. And in this setup, that is going to act as the spine of our book. And it's two millimeters because I found that out from Lulu's spine width measurer. And that is in the third video for this week. And then after you've done the two millimeters extra, add it to the width. So instead of 297, you've got 299. Then you can go down to margins and make all these zero. This is because you want the color to come all the way to the edge of the page. You can click the link icon. So just save yourself a bit of time from typing zero in all of them. Then click on bleed and slug. Put three millimeters of bleed. This is an excess, an extension of the color all around. Click the link icon so they all become three. Don't worry about slug, forget that for the moment. And then when that's all done, this is the hardest part. Click OK. And now have a look at the file you've created. You've got a back cover on the left rectangle. You've got a front cover on the right hand rectangle and a spine in between. Notice the red line all around the cover. That's the edge of the bleed. It's that extra three millimeters all the way around. If you get this right, you're well on your path to uploading your file correctly. In the next video, we'll put all the images and text in.